Hi everybody, my name is Tom and this is part 4 of my weapon ranking. We just measured how much damage did we do. We divided that by the bullets we used so we can say how much damage we actually did per bullet. Then we multiplied this with the max ammo count of each gun and saw how much damage can the gun really do when we have only one full ammo set. This is the most important value of a gun and therefore we made the ranking after this value. So if you are further interested of how I calculated things, just have a look in the description. Rank 14 goes to the Mustang and Sally and you may ask what the fuck is this? The Mustang and Sally is an awesome gun, we all know that, but things changed since Black Ops 1. Now we have Head Popper and now we have Double Tap 2. I think both of them actually increased the damage by a factor of 2, so overall each bullet based gun is now doing like 4 times the damage as it did in Black Ops 1 and uh, is this okay that we measure all guns with hat popper and with double tap too? Well, yes, because as soon as you use something that looks uh, like it would shoot some kind of bullet, you use double tap too instantly as second priority perk after Jaggernaut. And um, when you observe, uh, when you observe how guns do in game, for example, the Galil earns the hat popper perk like after two waves max three waves so um, you definitely spend more time with the head popper than without it so it's absolutely legit what we do here and the Mustang itself is just not profiting by the head popper and by double tap too therefore it ranks that bad but um, when you say I, I don't give a shit on those um, tools the, ha the headshot um, for perk and double tap too. Uh, when you say I just go with Mustang and Sally, Liquefier and Ray Gun, um, none of these guns actually need the headshot perk. Um, it's still a great choice, and you know that this gun is absolutely cool to use. It makes fun, but uh, we just have to be aware that with head popper, with double tap too, Mustang and Sally is actually a bad gun now. Then, rank 13 goes to the MTAR. It's a, yeah, very surprising. Um, the MTAR is extremely crappy when it's not upgraded. And this is because it sprays the bullets everywhere, but not where you actually aim for. But when you upgrade it, it becomes quite more precise. And then it's like any other assault rifle. And uh, I've said it quite a few times in the series already. But reload nice, movement speed nice, clip size nice, ammo count nice, uh, everything nice recall nice all all is good all is good um so the m tower is a cool gun upgraded um it's nice i just think it kind of does not have that much style and there is still the galil as a better gun because we haven't seen it yet it must be better obviously and this is also not that a big surprise and rank 12 is just like kind of um the opposite of the m tower um because I think the M27 has a lot of style. It also always um, reminds me of the Commander of Black Ops 1, and I loved the Commander just because I think, um, yeah, sound was great. Uh, I liked the look of the gun, and M27 is kind of um, similar. So I just like it for style, but when we have a look at the stats, it's actually pretty, pretty equal to the MTAR. So um, there is actually no big difference between um, those two guns. Then uh, rank 11 goes to the first sniper and this is the Barret. The Barret just has some problems and the main problem of it is that uh, we have to look through that scope so we lose a lot of overview and we also walk very very slow when we aim down our side and our aim down the sights and then we don't see when a zombie is coming uh, f from the side or into our back and we have, a, we have a hard time to react until we are actually looking out of the scope again and that is uh, yeah, that is something I do not like. But when you have a look at the damage per bullet, you see it's ranked number two with approximately 90,000 damage per bullet. So absolutely amazing. This actually tells us this that the uh, um, 10 times headshot multiplier of snipers is still active, like it was in Black Ops 1. So uh, they have a massive headshot damage, the sniper guns. And uh, yeah, they just penetrate through the zombies like hell. You easily can hit up to six zombies. You can one-shot zombies approximately until around 48, I think it is 48, but I'm not exactly sure, so sorry if this is wrong. It might be like around 45 or so, or 50, even. No clue, um, but approximately like r around 
around 45 to 50 and this is absolutely amazing of course now why should you use the Barrett when there is obviously a DSR 50 with with like twice as much ammo so um, there is actually no reason to really use the Barrett only if you wanna go with uh, snipers only, uh, but um, I mean, who does that really? Yeah, for a sniper challenge or so, but um, that's then it. Rank 10 goes to the RPD. The RPD is the first LMG that we actually see. Um, well, I always thought like the RPD is not that bad, or at least is like equally good as all the other LMGs, but it is actually obviously not because it is ranked quite a bit worse than the hammer and um, yeah, the, the, the problem is just that it does not do a lot of damage per bullet and um, this also leads to a very very slow kill speed so we do only 5.4k damage per bullet uh, but we have 875 bullets and until we have shot all those 875 bullets a long long time actually passes by so the kill speed is very very low uh, LMGs also have the problem of the very slow movement speed so we actually need stamina up when you use LMGs otherwise it's very very risky and the RPD especially. Reload time, absolutely crap. So um, I wrote there, if LMG go with the hammer and um, this a bit the conclusion about the gun. It again, it's, it's a good gun, it ranked um, in, the, in the 10th rank, so I actually reached the top 10, but um, there is a better one that um, does like the same, so it's a better LMG, you know. And therefore, I would not really recommend to use the RPD. All right, that was it for the fourth episode. See you again in the next one. There we have a look at ranks 5 to 9. It's getting really, really exciting. So, uh, yeah, let's look forward for that. Have fun. See you. Bye.